Day 494, 22 for 22. Good evening. I hope this finds you well. Please stay in your fight and don't quit. All right, so it's been quite the day uh, trying to help some people out. And I'm not doing this, to, I'm not saying to, saying this to pat myself on the back at all because there's a lot more people involved than just me. And I'm a very small part of this. But uh, I got to say that looking at what's going on just today in this little microcosm that is, uh, that I'm in, this community has tremendous heart. There's also tremendous suffering going on, and we've got to fix this. And we need to do it as a team. Um, that's all I'm going to say on that for now. I'll have another day of uh, talking about that. I wanted to go uh, kind of off on what I did the other day with, uh, with, the, with the kids. I've got a Mary and a James around. Uh, there's, there's a James, and there's a Mary. Um, I named the first one Life Through a Child's Eye. I'm going to name this, this one, same thing, with a Roman numeral 2. All right, so the first one was looking at the wonderment of how they look at life. Now, we are going to subtract us out of the equation because we were, we were in, a, in a really bad spot and we decided to kill ourselves. What are you going to do to your kid? you got to think about that before you make that commitment, that, that, that level of dedication to offing yourself. You have to think about this. If you have kids, you cannot take your life. You just can't. Because that will change the trajectory of their lives. You will change the tra trajectory of every aspect of their life. You will change, you will, you are, the, we, I'm always talking to you about hope and trying to find some. There's hope right there. But you know what? You're also their hope. You are the one that is supposed to be there to provide that advice, that guidance, that leadership to get that kid to adulthood and have a successful life on his or her own. And that comes from you. And if you check out early on that, you know, and I'm not saying if your marriage fails and you're out on your own, you know, and the, the ex-wife or the ex-husband has, has the children, that uh, it's near the same. No, it's not. Because I have worked on proving, and it's not always the case, but I have worked on proving that you can successfully raise a child as long as you are part of their life. And I do that with my daughter in New York. And I am damn proud of that girl for being who she is. Um, but, uh, James, where are you? But, get over here! You can go inside, young man. One. Two. Next time, listen, I told you to stay in the driveway, did I not? Did I not? How about a yes, sir? Now go relieve Barbara and let her come out here. All right, so sorry. Um, it's dark. He's small. I don't want him getting squashed by a car. So anyway, um, as I said, the, wonder, the, 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 the chance to raise your children is one that you have to take serious and that you have to put all your effort into it, even if you are effed in the head because of the PTSD or whatever it may be. Whatever's put you on the edge of that cliff, you have got to put that secondary to those children that are, that, you know, your children, my children. I do the same thing. I haven't been there in a long time since before they were born, but with my 17 year old, I almost made a horrific, tragic, stupid mistake of taking myself out of the equation because I had lost everything. She would have lost everything. She's a daddy's girl. And she, even though she's not here, she still kind of is. I'm sure she's not as much as she was because she's not here as much. But she is, I would have devastated that child. And that's no bueno. You guys got to think about the actions you take before you take them. And I don't care how bad it gets. You need to have those kids in the forefront of your mind. Fireworks. Fireworks. New Year's Eve coming. Somebody's test firing. What? I don't have a band. Okay.
Well, then you stay in this driveway, otherwise you will be in the house tomorrow. Do you understand me? Any questions, young man? Wait, so we're not allowed uh, to... Yes, sir? We're not allowed out the driveway? No. Mm -hmm. All right, so anyway, you got to think about that because, like I said, you are their hope. You are their guidance. You are their leadership. You are the one that is supposed to teach them how to get to adulthood and do it successfully. And I now have a Barbara. Um, so please, consider the wonderment that you are in their eyes and stay here and do what you got to do to be here do what you need to do to help fix it um if you need help get the help there is help out there there's plenty of, there's plenty of resources that we can get that we can find for you that we can get you into now i can't promise i i really can't promise but i will do my damnedest to make sure that you get what you need because it's, you, you are important, and it's important that you're here. And that's whether you have kids or not. Focus tonight for me is on kids um, and our influence upon them. But it is not, this message is not just uh, directed at uh, parents, veterans, veterans with kids. This is dedicated to everybody and making, making a fight of your life. You fought the one battle over overseas. You fought your battles and made it through. Don't let your own hand be what takes you out. All right, so who wants to do push-ups? Who's doing push-ups? Who's doing push-ups? Who's doing push-ups? Why are you trying to force us? I'm messing with you, good Lord. I get I do it. You guys pester me, I'm just pestering you back. You don't like it, do you? Huh, don't like it? Don't like it? Don't like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Hey Barbara. Hey Barbara. Hey Barbara. Hey Jane. Hey Jane. Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Yes. All right. All right, let's go. Mary, are you going to do some push-ups? Yes, no, maybe. Oop. I guess that's a no. Thanks for the answers. Okay. Come on. Let's get closer. Alright, right, we're gonna do it. Let's go. We're burning time. I have a time actually have a short one here. Possibly. Alright. And begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, you're not. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, one for the airborne ranger in the sky, one for the infantry, one for the fallen. You want to do the promotion? Come on, dude. Hello. Hello. Ugh, man. Subscribe to our channel, comment below. Give us a huge thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. What do we got? want to get to? 51 subscribers. Where are we at? 50. Well, you all know what I want. <laughs> a million. No, a million. No, 51. All right. So, also 17 Facebook groups uh, get the video normally. Plus my normal page. If you can't share from inside the group, hold on. If you can't share from inside the group, please come to my main page and share from there. It's also on Twitter when I can get it on there. And Instagram when I can get it on there. Or had something else to add. The YouTube channel is that underscore pushup underscore guy space tough. Alright, thank you, Ms. Marketer. Alright, so stay in your fight. Don't quit. If you need help, seek help. Get it from friends. Family, professionals, no shame at all in getting help. Do what you got to do to be here. <sighs> Bottom line, do not use suicide as a permanent solution to a temporary or permanent problem. You got this. We'll see you here tomorrow. Ready? Come on, guys. All right, get the flashlight out of the screen. Get the flashlight out of the screen. Son, you're listening like a rock. Exactly. Over here, Mary. Down, 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 down. Watch. Let's go. Watch. Come on, hurry up. 
Nice. Let's go. All right. Ready? One, One two. Two. Hold on. Mary, push over. One, two, three. Tough out. Good job, guys. Jason.